unite because we believe that public health in our community is the most important thing right now. Parents and teachers make one last emotional plea to hit pause on reopening schools. Today, they urge Governor Ned Lamont to keep school buildings closed this fall. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino was at the Capitol for their rally. He is joining us now with more on their message. Mike. Yes, and Aaron, of course, these parents already have the option of keeping their own kids home or sending them to school to learn in person. But the parents I talked to today say they don't think it's safe for any kids to be going back into school, and that's why they don't think it should be an option. Ned Lamont needs to hear that. Until we have a vaccine, there is no in-person school. A small group of parents and teachers rallied at the Capitol today, calling on Governor Ned Lamont to wait on in-person school this fall. They say it raises the risk of a second wave of COVID-19 cases in Connecticut. Lamont and his education department have left that decision up to schools, with the condition that they offer a remote learning option for concerned parents. In a statement, a spokesman said Lamont has balanced safety concerns with the need for students to have access to resources in school. Ensuring we do not have a lost year of education, the Lamont administration collaborated with public health and medical experts, educators, and local school administration leaders to protect the health and safety of everyone who makes contact with our school system. This is high stakes. This is a, a, a large risk. The Department of Education has put out guidelines, but those at today's rally don't think kids will follow the rules. Every parent in Connecticut knows it, yet we've made the decision to reopen these schools. Why? Why? New Haven is planning to go online only, but most districts, like Hartford, are not. The public school spokesperson tells Eyewitness News, we're committed to providing an in-person component safely based on state recommendations. Fergus adds that in a survey of nearly 90% of families, 59% of Hartford students will learn remotely compared to 41% returning in person. Kids also face less risk of death than the elderly, but some parents are worried about kids with diabetes, asthma, and other issues. Some say they want a vaccine before a return to school. At that point, I figure we can get all our kids in school, even if we have to go to school during the summer to catch up. Now, we reached out today to both Hartford and West Hartford Public Schools to see if we could see in person how they're preparing for the coronavirus. They said that a lot of the supplies are still arriving this week and that they're working on preparations in time for a return to school. Live from the Capitol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.